It is this video we looking at linear inequalities, under which we'll be solving linear inequalities in one variable. Now, for inequalities, there are some things you need to know. Two basic things. The first thing is that whenever you're dividing under inequalities, the sign will change. If it is less than, it will change to greater than. If it is greater than, it will change to less than. The same thing for less or equals to and greater or equals to. Also, whenever you're switching the independent variable, x or so, your inequality sign would also change. Okay, so let's look at these questions. We have the first question as um, 2x minus 4 less than 10. How will I solve this? You solve it like a normal inequality, a normal linear equation by collecting like times. So I'm going to have that was 2x to be less than what 10 plus 4. In which case, what now happens? This becomes what 2x to be less than what 14. Now, if, if, if 2x is less than 14, what happens here? We divide both by 2 to get my x to be less than what 7. So it implies that what my x is less than 7. So that's the answer. Now for number 2 question, what do we have? We have 1 minus 5x to be less than or equals to 5. 1 minus 5x less or equals to what? 5. Now, in this way, how do we solve? Let's color like terms also. This becomes what? Minus 5x to be less than or equals to what? 5 minus 1. From here, do I have this becomes what? Minus 5x to be less than or equals to what? 4. From here, to find x, I divide both by what? A negative 5. Divide both by what? A negative what? 5. Now, on dividing, what happens? Minus cancels itself, 5 cancels itself, leaving my x to be what now? Now, since I'm dividing by a negative number, what now happens to my inequality sign? My inequality sign changes direction. From less than or equals to, to change to what? Greater than or equals to what? Minus 4 over what? Over 5. And that's the answer. Finally, we have what? 7 over... 7x over 2... 7x over 2 minus 22... To be greater than what 3x over 4 3x over what 4 now the thing i can do here is what find the lcm how do i find the lcm there are two ways first you find the lcm of all of them by putting it down here or so that's for finding the lcm of the left hand side or just multiply all through by the general lcm which is what 4 Multiplying all through by the general LCM, which is 4, leaves us with what? 4 into what? 7x over 2 minus 4 into 22 to be greater than what? 4 into 3x over what? 4. Now, dividing what happens, this becomes 2 and this becomes 2. So, 2 times 7 is now what? 14x minus 14 times, 4 times 22, I mean, is what? 88. To be greater than what? This cancels themselves. It means 3x. Greater than what? 3x. Now from here, collecting like terms now becomes what? 14x minus what? 3x to be greater than what? Plus 88 now. From negative it becomes positive when it comes to the right hand side. Subtracting, this becomes 11x to be greater than what? 88. From here, the Bible says about what? x by 11 i mean to get my x on dividing what happens my x now becomes what 88 over 11 which my x is greater than what 8 so it means my size is what is 8 after solving so you can see why i applied the first rule of inequality i applied it to number two where i divided by what negative sign to get what the opposite direction of my what? Initial inequality.